hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel uh, today I will show you something in Mac uh, to generate MS Word automatically using Excel Excel as a backend data and uh, Word as a reporting uh, tool right so right if you search YouTube this how to create MS Word automatically this is the result you will be getting and this is my video appearing in the uh, uh, first position of the search result so this I had done it five years back now I will be replicating this for Mac so yeah a lot of people uh, you know was uh, were using pinging me that uh, I want this for Mac make it work so I kind of replicated same with a small tweak because uh, yeah I have to tell you that Mac doesn't have a same set of features uh, we, we what Windows has in terms of VBA there are some add-ins are not available for Mac so with that you know I will uh, start how to do this for Mac how to create MS Word automatically with Excel in Mac okay this is the file I had used I'm using the same file and uh, this is the Excel right a small data in uh, demo data I just compared it and I'll show you how to merge and find a record okay the objective of this video is suppose uh, yeah again by default mail merge will work and you can uh, navigate through all these rows right one by one so this I have in this Excel I have only few rows uh, around 10 15 still you can manually do it but what if you have thousands of records right so the idea is if you know the name you will search by name get the report by searching the name for example if you want an, a report for Raja just type I mean find a record for Raja in in the MS Word right I'll show you how it exactly is done that's the goal of this video right so first thing we need to create mail merge so go to mailings and go to mail list. I mean this is just your you know selecting what kind of uh, uh, format you want to generate so let it be letters and now you have to use this option use existing list to use any existing excel sheet i'm using excel sheet so i have to select this All right i'll just navigate to there okay, okay this is my excel the chamber i had showed and this needs to be open something some conversion is there it's just say yes okay so in that excel sheet i have i mean the excel file i have sheet one i'm selecting that and you have to select the range where you want to any i mean where you want to apply the mail merge i'll say a1 that's default to m13 so the last column is m and number of rows we have is 13 so 12 rows basically okay mail merge is done now insert the fields right so these are the columns of my excel if you cross verify yeah these are the columns of my excel data right so insert so what is this this is name and this is designation and yeah this i did of join i guess i don't think i have I mean anyway this is uh, a demo data so you can uh, create actually and total uh, earnings okay and here net pay okay and there is something called total total deductions right yeah I have all those data but I will show you only on these fields right now the mail merge is done and ready for to gen ready to generate report right so how do you see the value in the same tab there is an option to uh, re preview the results okay travel and travel travel and travel so this is all so uh, i was telling right you can just navigate to any field and then get the data but the idea is if you know only the name uh, in a thousands of records of data you only know the name right so how do you get the report for this guy Raja right 
so that is the goal of this video so for that I need to have a small macro very simple I'll explain that right so let me do that go to developer tab this if it is not enabled you need to enable it and then go to visual basic uh, tab so here this window will appear under modules you have to insert one new module insert module okay it will appear like this and I have this code here copy pasted you have to exactly copy paste I'll give this code in my site I'll upload it into my site okay so my code is done so the format is uh, important I mean there is there should be a sub and there should be end sub right and this is the name of my uh, code let me give you as one because I have one more uh, macro by that name I mean uh, this somewhere here but I will just name it as one to make it unique okay the code is done just go back to the MS Word and now your code is ready to be executed okay now let me find one guy like I'll say Seema right I want to get the report for Seema go to macros run the macro and now enter the name so I'm gonna re generate the report for Seema okay if you see here it's changed to Seema okay gotcha right so let me close all the visual windows visual basic windows and run it okay this is changing right so yeah you need to populate everything and just run run the macro and say watch up and also you can have a uh, shortcut keyboard shortcut uh, let me see if it is there okay i don't think it's there for mac okay yeah you can so i will uh, check that later but now uh, just give the name rocks and this things right so uh, i was telling right uh, there is a small tweak in windows but you can search backward or forward but in mac what i found is you can only search forward so for example if you're already if you're already in 10th uh, row you can only search these remaining rows right I mean you can get report only for Preeti Soman rocks you cannot get Raja for that what I would have done is I did this reset right so I mean when you execute the uh, script it will reset to the first record this is the only difference uh, between MS Word and this Mac I'm uh, sorry uh, Windows and Mac uh, without this in Windows it is to work perfectly but in Mac if I don't do this it will only filter the next item say for example if you are in uh, okay so go to mailings okay I'm in pretty right if I have to search uh, Raja or anybody right it wouldn't give the result only I can search these guys so for that in Mac I did the tweak to reset the record current record to the first record so yeah that's all guys today uh, I think uh, okay just to give you an explanation on the uh, script I mean this is like again uh, some variable this is some variable to read the value and uh, I mean variable and this is the actual text I'm expecting from the user user has to enter once the user enters the value it will go and sit here right and data source main is a object I'm creating for uh, this uh, object I mean this uh, yeah, this is basically you know uh, object uh, probably class right and oh okay i think this is not report because i'm directly using the active document mail merge data source right uh no no, no. here i'm using the directly i'm using the direct uh, data source but here i'm using this object which i created right so that's it guys uh, thanks for watching if you have any requirement in ms word automation please leave a comment below uh, thank you see you later